This is without a doubt the most interesting con movie I think I've ever seen. American Hustle was a movie I have been following since I heard of the title and I heard of the story and the actors or whatever. I was really looking forward to seeing this movie and if I had the money, this review would have been up probably the day it came out in my city, but I didn't have the money, so I had to wait until I got the money. And once I got the money, I immediately said to myself, I'm seeing American Hustle. Um, so American Hustle is this movie that's directed by David O. Russell. And David O. Russell is the director of The Fighter, Silver Linings Playbook, and Three Kings. Now American Hustle is a story about a bunch of con artists played by Christian Bale and Amy Adams. And they con people out, to get their money, whatever. And Bradley Cooper is this FBI agent that finds them and he, and he wants to work with them in exchange for them not going to jail and so they come up with this plan to con this New Jersey um, mayor who's played by Jeremy Renner. They want to make sure that the con works um, and they want to make sure that Christian Bale's wife doesn't get involved who's played by Jennifer Lawrence because, she, because if she does she could be the one that can screw it all up. And a lot of twists and turns happen along the way which I'm not going to say because I just want to give you like the simple plot that's just the most simplest plot I can give you. So, anyways, um, like I said, David Russell directed this movie. I love his movies. They're so good. They're such great movies. And for me, I think American Hustle is a really is a really great one. I don't know if it's um, I don't know if it's better than um, The Fighter or Silver Lines Playbook, but I do think it is better than Three Kings. Um, I haven't seen I and I haven't seen I Heart Huckabee, so I can't say. But it is it is a really good movie. And I think what makes American Hustle so good is the cast, like all these actors, they give so much and they're such great characters. Like Christian Bale was great in the movie. It's, it's interesting seeing Christian Bale not playing someone that's Batman now. It's just funny because he's fat, he's got like a lousy comb over and so forth. And you know what I mean? He looks like he, he, he's losing his hair in this movie. You know, it's it, for me. It's like it's it's like in the Dark Knight Rises, if Bruce Wayne decided not to become Batman and just stayed and watched his empire fall to pieces. I'm pretty sure he would look like Christian Bale in this movie. Um, Amy Adams is real good too. I think this is, without a doubt, her best performance because, and this is something that goes along with the fighter is that Amy Adams doesn't necessarily play the type of role you'd see Amy Adams play, where she plays this you know sort of really sort of. Um, bubbly, happy type person. It's like she she she'll play sort of this real raw and at times angry person, and she does play the play in this movie, um, like she did in the fighter, and she's she's re she's pretty much like Christian Bale's mistress, and I really like the chemistry between her and Bale. Um, Bradley Cooper is great in this movie. I <laughs> I think this is this is probably one of, probably his best performance because he's. He's so he. It's funny he can turn sort of he can turn on and off and on and off becomes because he's got a big temper in this movie where there'll be one scene where he's just like really happy then you can say something that will set Bradley Cooper off he'll just start screaming and that that's very tough to do and Bradley Cooper does it well in fact there's like this one scene between him and Louis C.K. Um, which had me laughing because Bradley Cooper's just going crazy and Louis C.K. is just like sort of calming him down. It's a pretty funny scene. And Jeremy Renner is in this movie. He plays this, like I say, he plays the mayor of this uh, city in New Jersey. And I like that Jeremy Renner is just plays a good guy. You know what I mean? He's 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 just he's just a good hearted guy who will take loans from really shady people, but he does it for the people of his city that he's the mayor of. And yeah, that's always interesting because Jeremy Renner's always just played these really dark and sarcastic characters, you know what I mean? And I like the fact that here, he just plays someone who's at, who's got a good heart, but, but probably makes some silly decisions, but he does it for the good of his people, and I like that. And then you got Jennifer Lawrence as Christian Bale's wife, and she steals the show, man. She has the best lines. She probably has some of the best scenes. She's so hilarious. And she's Jennifer Lawrence, uh, which anyway, she's she's super hot, man. And she's a really talented actress. She really shines in this movie. Absolutely.
There's some really cool random cameos, which I will not spoil, but it, it's really cool saying, oh, that person's this movie, that person's this movie. It's, it's, it's absurd, but it's it's just funny how they're integrated into the movie. It's pretty, it's pretty funny. I like the soundtrack of the movie. The soundtrack is this 1970s sort of rock um, soundtrack, and if... It fits well in the movie. There's like there's a lot of '70s rock songs. There's a lot of '70s disco songs. It's it's really cool, man. It's it's really cool. Um, yeah, and a lot of people you know have complained about American Hustle. Oh, you know it's not about story, it's just about characters. Which for me, I like that. You know these these are really sort of unique and weird characters, and I like the fact that this movie really focuses on them more than the story. You know what I mean? I, I feel like. I feel like if you can focus more on your characters, and your characters are so interesting and so intriguing more than the story, then that's not necessarily a bad thing, that's actually sort of a good thing if you think about it. Because you really want to know more about these characters, you want to know more about Christian Bale, you want to know more about Bradley Cooper or Amy Adams, they're, they're, just, they're just interesting characters, and, I really, and that's really this movie's highest point, it's, it's, it's interesting characters, and the script, the script has such good dialogue throughout, I mean... It, it, it kind of. I, I wonder if you know some of the lines were ad libbed or they were just part of the script. It's it's really tough. It's like it, it's it's such it's such a really good script, and I really think David Russell is going to get the Oscar for at least best screenplay for best director. Uh, they'll go to Gravity, but for best screenplay, it's got to be David Russell. It just has to be. You know what I mean? Um, if there's any detractions I will have about this movie, it is that. There is so much that does happen in this movie, and there's a lot of twists and turns, like every con movie you've seen. And this one is no exception, and you really have to... It, it, it's it, it, it's a lot. This movie's two hours and nine minutes, and there's a lot of twists and turns that happen. So, um, it, you you really have to sort of, like, you know, be, be ready for it, though. Be ready for all those twists and turns. Um, but aside from that... Yeah, American Hustle is such a good movie. It's got great actors. It's really funny. It's really it. It's really uh. It's got. It's really w well written. Every actor brought their game to it. David O. Russell did once again did such a great job in this movie. There's a lot of twists and turns, and sometimes it can get a little jumbled. But other than that, it's a really really good movie. I highly suggest to check it out. I'm gonna give American Hustle an A minus. Now. Looking back, if I had seen American Hustle last year, this would have totally been on my top ten list. Absolutely. Um, so, looking back on my top ten list, I, I would I would have put it probably um, probably somewhere between Prisoners and um, and um, Elysium. Somewhere Elysium or like Star Trek and Dark, uh, not Star Trek and Doctor Specific Room. It, it's somewhere. It's somewhere like where, somewhere next to um, Prisoners, wherever I put it. But yeah, that's my two cents on American Hustle. And just, what do you think of American Hustle? What's your favorite David Russell movie? For me, if I had to choose out of all of them, it would be The Fighter. I like, I like The Fighter. I like underdog stories. I love Mark Wahlberg and Christian Bale in that movie. But yeah, that's my two cents on American Hustle, everyone. So like, subscribe, and comment, and give me your thoughts of American Hustle.